him. Guess what? This year, Christmas is going to be rubbish for loads of us, although we don't know it yet because the government haven't told us what's happening. But let's be honest, it's going to be rubbish for loads of us. So if, like me, you live on your own and you've got no one to cook for, what are you going to do? Are you going to buy a massive turkey? Are you going to do, I don't know, buy a crown or whatever? Hell no. What are you going to do is you're going to have a party on your own. Look, I've even got a cracker. Here that is. I always win. What do I get as a free gift? Oh, I get a spinning top. That's nice. And of course, a hat and a joke. Uh, who delivers presents to cats? Santa Paul's. Oh, dear me. Santa Paul's. Brilliant. Well done. And a hat. So you can get the party spirits by pulling your own cracker. You set your own joke there. And you can cut yourself the easiest meal you've ever cut yourself at Christmas. It's dead simple. Even you can do it. And you're rubbish. Right. So what we need for this meal of kings is Madison's turkey rashers. Uh, Tesco turkey sausages, a tin of cooked potatoes, some frozen sprouts, some sweet corn, or you could have carrots, and some baby potatoes. And it's the potatoes we're going to do with first. Okay then, so the potatoes, open it up. This is your Christmas dinner, or one. So I think uh, it's Christmas dinner, isn't it? so let's have an extra potato. And all this is because, obviously, we can't have a normal Christmas this year. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to have a normal Christmas this year. So you cut the new potatoes in half, like so. Keep the skins on, because they taste better with skins on, let's be honest. So there you go, all chopped up, ready to go. So you get a pan, chuck them in the pan. And then, although they're in the pan, we rinse out the pan uh, with water just to wash off any excess muck that might be on there. Uh, and then we go to the next bit. So the whole point of this recipe is the fact that it has got one pan and one thing that you put in the oven with the stuff on. In my case, it's a, it's a plate, which you'll see in a moment. Um, so we've got the potatoes in there, but there's only me eating here. So I can put the uh, sweet corn in. I can also put in the sprouts. Now bear in mind the sprouts are frozen. I've added some salt. Try not to throw the sprouts everywhere, we can help it. There's quite a lot of sprouts there, so we'll leave that there. So we've got sprouts and we've got potatoes in there. I'm cooking a bit of sweet corn. So you could have carrots, doesn't really matter. Uh, and with the salt, and then we just put that on a light boil or a simmer. And then all being well, it will look amazing once we've cooked it. Next up is roast potatoes, because you've got to have roast potatoes with your Christmas dinner, even if you're only doing it on your own. And the best way to do that, believe it or not, is tinned potatoes. Any tinned potatoes will do. Uh, this tin will do two episodes, so we'll open it. Using can opener, obviously. Then the other ones will go in a, oh, there we go, go in a, um, a glass with a bit of tin foil on it and they will do for tomorrow so you get yourself a, a potato a new potato and you just crush it like so so it all splits up and you chuck it on the side and then you do another one this is the famous plate i was telling you about i prefer this to the uh oh, a bit of black on there get rid of that i prefer this to the um 
non-stick trays that you get um, because the enamel doesn't come off. So there you go. And then the rest of them, we can just put in a bowl, a bit of cling film on the top, and they'll do for tomorrow, which technically would be a boxing day, wouldn't it? Um, and then you're like, well, where's the turkey? Well, the turkey... is in here. Now it's Christmas dinner, so we're going to go for four sausages. Now these are turkey sausages. Now the idea of this is, you don't have to buy a turkey. You're still getting turkey, because these are, as it says on the back, 81% uh, 8 turkey. So it is a proper turkey Christmas dinner you're having, but you're not paying 15 to 20 quid for a crown of a, of a um, turkey that you're not gonna eat. So we'll put the rest of the pack in the fridge for tomorrow. Let's go with the uh, potatoes. And then we'll separate the sausages out. But I don't know about you, but I love pigs in blankets. Now, we can't really do pigs in blankets because these are turkey sausages. So they're not pigs, it's turkey. And I don't want to put turkey with pork. So what I'll do is I'll put turkey with turkey. And that's where the turkey rashers come from. So we open up these. Like so. Now it does look like ham, but it's all right. I've reviewed it before and it's not too bad. So you'll get it and you'll just wrap it around your turkey, your sausage. So you've now got double turkey, but it will still taste and feel like you're having pigs in blanket and you're having turkey and you've not forked out a fortune. Now put your oven on gas mark six. I don't know what that is in electric, to be fair. And then chuck all this lot in the oven. And there you go. You've got your Christmas dinner done. Only dirty in. One plate and one pan. It's easy. Anyway, let's see what it looks like when it's cooked. Okay then, so it's time for dishing up. Uh, we've been cooking the uh, sausages and the... Uh, turkey bacon for a while and there we go that's one of them so it's fully turkey we're having a turkey dinner for Christmas along with kind of pigs in blanket but it's basically turkey in blankets uh, the roast potatoes they're not very roasty but they're fat free which is good so it's healthy as well see them on and then of course We've got the boiled potatoes and vegetables. So uh, get the pan. So this is the alternate Christmas dinner. Obviously, instead of sweet corn, you can have carrots. And obviously you want to make it a big meal because let's be honest, it's Christmas day. So you want something to look really, really nice. So there we go. So there's your, uh, your veggies. And now you might think, well, it looks all right, but it's a bit dry. We need some gravy. <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. So we've got some uh, Bisto, uh, it's gluten-free. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. It's still Bisto gravy. There you go, gluten-free. And, it, put it in a mug and then you just pour the gravy on and lo and behold you've got yourself a very cheap very tasty for one Christmas dinner and the good news is you've got one plate to wash you've got one cup for your gravy which I've got to mention earlier on and one pan and other than that there's no washing up but from the plate you're eating off and your knife and fork. So there you go then. Merry Christmas. Alternative on your own style. So there you go then. After that minimal effort, you've got yourselves a proper Christmas dinner with turkey that hasn't cooked for hours. It's only cooked for half an hour. 
wrapped in turkey, so it looks like uh, pigs in blankets, but it ain't. Vegetables, potatoes, and gravy. What more could you want? Seriously, this is a Christmas to savour. Look at it, peace, quiet, and good food. Mmm. Till next time, Merry Christmas.